Um, I just have to express my view. I have never been more upset and disappointed in our current government with how they have dealt with the situation. Do you situation. mean the UK government? Or the, the UK government, apologies. Um, whether it's the Conservative Party and even the Labour Party, it's an absolute disgrace. How many lives need to be lost? We are between 25 to 30,000 Gazan lives, people who have done nothing wrong. I completely echo what you say. Israel do have a right to defend themselves, absolutely, but at the risk of, not at the risk, the death, murder of 25 to 30,000 people who have done nothing wrong. I, just, I, I can't understand this. Biden has cautioned a potential Israeli invasion of the Gaza city of Rafah, which he says is a red line for the Prime Minister, and that the world cannot afford another 30,000 civilian deaths due to the war. And we're now joined by the High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy for the European Union, Josep Borrell. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the News Hour. Let me start with Israel and Gaza. Today, as you saw, the Senate Majority Leader, Chuck Schumer, made a speech at Congress, and he said that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been too willing to tolerate the civilian toll in Gaza, which is pushing support for Israel worldwide to historic lows. Do you agree? Well, uh, I perceive a change on the mood of the public opinion in the U.S. with respect to what's happening in Gaza. More and more people are feeling concerned with what uh, I, I certainly can call a massacre because 30,000 civilians killed is a lot of people. <laughs> They're not going to give up until they've beaten Hamas after what they did. And would anybody in the world want to live with we an organization to do it again like and that? again and again? You take 30,000 dead civilians, 70% of whom are women and children, is an effort to minimize civilian deaths. Yeah, but 13,000 of those the are way, Hamas. The way I see it, 30,000 deaths is a horrific genocide, and it's actually unique for any uh, major military confrontation or operation we've seen in modern history. What Israel's doing right now to the people of Gaza makes the Russian military look like a bunch of saints mm. in Ukraine. It's disgusting what they're doing, and yes, it is a genocide. No, but Hamas aren't letting Sorry, the just civilians a minute, in the just tunnels, a and 13,000 are Hamas dead, Can you aren't stop they? shouting? How You're many are dead about 13,000 It is not, and I repeat this, Jackson, just so you know, it is not a genocide. Is that the people of Palestine are being collectively punished for the actions of a terrorist group. They are being denied access to water, to food, to medicine, to electricity, to the ability to leave. And meantime, they are being indiscriminately shot and bombed. 70,000 men, women and children injured. 30,000 men, women and children dead. And Why do you think a ceasefire would help? Because uh, around 30,000 civilians have been killed. That's not Actually, true, in it? an area like, in an area like Gaza, uh, and in the sort of mm. war that they're fighting, yeah. that's really Even Hamas good. aren't saying that. I mean, Even that's Hamas really good. Hamas are saying 30,000 in total. Really you just said... It's not that really around, good. Let's say, it's, let's say it's the figure really, is, is correct. No, would you just well, it's not. Well, even well, you've got Hamas wrong. 30,000 30, people. No terrorists at all. So Hamas is saying 30,000 people have been killed in okay. Gaza. That includes the terrorists. You see, after October 7th, most of the world stood with Israel, including us. We defended Israel's right to hit back to take out Hamas. 
But the campaign has clearly gone too far. The latest numbers are out. More than 30,000 Gazans have been killed by Israel. Around 21,000 of them were children. 21,000 children killed. I am buying the, the bombs and the bullets that have thus far killed, uh, conservatively, 30,000 Palestinian uh, non-combatants in Gaza. 